Tony McGahan, the uh, back skills defence coach of Munster Rugby, you obviously had um, a very pleasing weekend last weekend. Well, yeah, certainly, Pat. I think you know, any time that you win a Heineken Cup semi-final, it's a, it's a great result. And, and last weekend was uh, was no different. To get through the pool and through Gloucester and and get a result against a very committed Saracen side was very uh, very satisfying to the squad. And uh, in terms of uh, your own particular job and with 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 the backs, uh, very pleased with the performance last weekend. Well, we certainly created enough opportunities to probably get a few more tries, but you know, with a little bit of uh, indecision and, and, and passing accuracy was letting us down at times. We we probably left a few tries there back at uh, Coventry. You can only do so much in terms of, of, of giving the lads the, the, the equipment to work with, but uh, how difficult is it when, when people, the expectation is that this is going to be easy? Well, I suppose, you know, we're reading the papers and such during the week and then comments such as Saracens would be more of a pushover and people waiting to get to the final. You know, the squad itself are in no doubt whatsoever. Like, you don't get to a semi-final this stage of the competition without being a formidable opponent and Saracens certainly proved that on the weekend. Try again. I, I, I try conceded last week. No try in the quarter final, and you're on the record in the latter stages of the of, mm. the, of the Heineken Cup. You must be extremely happy with with the performance, your own both and and, and the team. Well, you know, hats off to the players themselves. They worked extremely hard, and they've got a, a huge discipline and a huge work rate when it comes to defence. So, you know, stats wise, we, we've been we've been excellent with regards to defence. Again, the opportunity that the try turned in on on uh, on Sunday was a good try by Saracens, but one that we, we should have stopped. But hopefully, uh, leading to loose that we can continue the good form with the defence. No matter no matter what guys like you do, Tony. There, in the end, there's no you can't compensate for human error. No, that's exactly right, Pat. You know, with, that's the beauty about sport, and that's the beauty about rugby, isn't it? You know, 30 individuals on the on the field, and you know, sometimes you know, as much as you can program and put structures in place, at the end of the day, it's a decision-making game. And you know, with human with human uh, error, um, that's always going to be the case. Last weekend, five ten minutes to go. You're you're what, you're two points clear. Mm. How was Tony McGann feeling sitting up in the stand? Well, we just need to get back down the other, the other end of the field, as, as far away from our try line as possible. But, you know, again, we, we had confidence in our defence and, and we thought that we would hold them no matter what they threw at us. It was just a case of us holding our discipline and being patient. And, you know, in the end, that, that showed through and we, we got the result with the, with the penalty at the last play of the game. Well, OK, let's go back to that last play of the game before we got the penalty. Well, were, were there nerves? There had to be nerves on it. Oh, definitely. Look, you know, as I said, Saracens worked themselves back into the game extremely well through the second half. And, you know, we knew Jackson had been kicking very well. So he was going to just take one little bit of, you know, one little bit of indiscipline or, or anything such as that. And Jackson was going to penalise us. Uh, you know, we thought he was setting up for a field goal there. But, you know, definitely um, the fingernails were getting chewed. You were involved with the last Heineken Cup final. Mm. So what's the difference in the atmosphere leading up to this final and last final? Well, it's probably still a little bit early out from the, from the final itself. You know, we've still got Kennetley to get through this weekend and we've still got Glasgow at home next weekend. So probably a little way out. But, you know, I'm sure that, you know, I'm sure that as we go into the last two weeks after Glasgow that, you know, the intensity and the feeling we're building not only in the squad but, but also in Munster itself and, you know, more so in Limerick where we are today. Uh, Tony, you came from Japan initially and then previously Australia. A little bit different in the weather, but how are you enjoying it, weather aside? Weather aside, it's been fantastic. Like I've said many a time, it really doesn't matter where you are in the world. If, if the people you're involved with and the people that you're living with in the community, if you don't have some sort of connection or they're not good people, well, you may as well not be anywhere, really. And, uh, you know, the Limerick and Munster people themselves have been fantastic uh, to my wife and, uh, and two boys, and we've settled in very well. And I think it'd be safe enough to say that if people are looking for tickets, we can give them your number. Well, Pat, you're probably the man to go to. You've got a lot more contacts than me. I'm just a, a poor management uh, assistant coach, so you're the man to see. Thank you, Tony. No problem.